and I want to show you uh, this beautiful home. We are here today at 39, 39 Warren Avenue in Malvaro. This is a beautiful home, so it will be a different experience for you because I will be presenting you um, someone that I know, okay, for a while. His name is Eduardo. He's been to my life before and uh, he will be going with us through this property and showing you how he was able to flip this property model. So you can just watch to the end and learn how you can do a flip in the United States. Ok? So, gente, estejam comigo hoje. Eu estou aqui hoje em Marlboro, na 39 da Warren Avenue, aqui na cidade de Marlboro. Essa rua aqui é uma rua bem tranquila, é o One Way. So, this is a One Way Street em Marlboro. E então, o live de hoje, a gente vai estar mostrando para vocês como você pode fazer uma transformação numa casa. Tá? Essa casa foi comprada. Né, totalmente destruída, bem ruinzinha mesmo, e ela foi feita um flip, ela foi, fe... ela foi reformada totalmente, e o dono então vai poder conversar com vocês, mostrar para vocês o que ele fez nessa casa, que ficou lindíssima. Vamos lá comigo então. So let's go with me. So here we are in the main entrance of 39 Warren Avenue in Marlboro. Então, estamos aqui, gente, essa aqui é a entrada, tá? So, we have this nice porch. Então, temos essa entradinha aqui, bem bonitinha, uma varandinha, tá? E vamos, então, entrar aqui nessa casa para vocês conhecerem um pouquinho, então, da transformação que foi feita nessa casa. E você também pode fazer como o Eduardo fez. Vamos lá, então? So, come with me. Hey, Eduardo! How are you? Tudo bem? Good, how are you? Tudo bem, Tudo bem. graças a Deus. So, everyone, this is Eduardo. And uh, Eduardo owns this home, right, Eduardo? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he bought this house some months ago. About five months ago. Five months ago. Então ele comprou essa casa alguns meses atrás e no entanto fez um belíssimo trabalho, né, Eduardo? Obrigado, obrigado. Beautiful <laughs> job, beautiful work that he has done on this property. So this property was completely. It was uh, uh, I got it from a friend of mine that was he not bought illegal, the house, right? Uh, Oh, what? Uh, almost, little, yeah, yeah. It was just like it was a halfway renovation done, um, mm -hmm. so it wasn't quite like I would say uh, it needed many, many, many repairs. Mm -hmm. So it, I would say it was livable, but it was in really bad shape. So it needed many uh, like a uh, structural um, strong colors, strong colors, yeah, yeah uh -huh. like cracks and things. was not looking good <laughs> at all. <laughs> no, it wasn't. So, uh, but now it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, and I want to show you. Okay, so uh, you this way he can the, the people can, yeah. can learn right how absolutely, to do it, yeah. right? Because you've so, done this how many times? Uh, seven, seven eight houses so far. Uh, eight, 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 I renovated eight houses so eight far. Houses? Uh, six flips. So, okay, so um, six. Wow, six so you, flips. All in less than three years. You have a lot of experience then. Yeah, <laughs> you have a lot of experience. So you. You yeah. guys will be able to learn a lot through yeah. Eduardo. Don't miss it. Okay, <laughs> and so we are gonna go through this property now. So we're gonna do a, right. um, you know, a tour, and I want you to follow yeah. me. Okay? So we're starting right here. Um, you know, as you guys see, double doors. Um, let's. Yeah, this, this is, is beautiful. Really, really cold outside. It is cold. Yeah. Um, it's freezing. <laughs> I love this door. So, so um, beautiful. these are like original doors from the house. Uh, it just needed, a, you know, a little bit. Love, so mm -hmm. I, I, I had to stand it again. Mm -hmm. um, all the trim work in the house actually wasn't painted before, and I don't like to paint the natural woodwork, mm -hmm. but in this case, I had to because um, this house, uh, the previous two owners before me actually um, had removed all the moldings uh, oh. to put blow insulation, so we had little holes everywhere. Okay. So, in order to patch them, uh, and, and it was kind of like beat up, so I, you know, and I needed to update and uh, like brighten up the house a little bit. Sure. Yeah. So I like the mix of all the old and new. So I think uh -huh. nothing like painting the trims and covered all the, the holes, mm -hmm. but keeping the doors original. So I like the glass, you know, and on the door. Mm -hmm. I think it's nice because you you can you have a view, you yeah. know, of the first door. Yeah. So whoever is there outside ringing the bell, which is nice. You're talking about the door, that front door. <laughs> Uh, it used to be oh, 1950s, yeah. like very old, um, very old door. It was really bad shape. It had like three mm -hmm. circle, um, like glass windows on it. It was really weird. It was uh -huh. in bad shape. And I was able to find that one. Um, it's a beautiful uh, on door. door. Yeah, it's a beautiful door. I love the little details. And it, it was match cheap the house. also, right? It was a really good price. It was like, 
low to hundreds on Home Depot, believe it or not. For the front door, it's amazing. amazing Once you yeah. paint it. Oh. So this is the hallway, which is nice. Okay, so hard do the floor so throughout the property, right? Uh, throughout the entire property. The entire floor. Under the carpets. Yeah. Talking about doors. You oh, know, I love Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> so this is a giant has a lot of door doors. right here. So, so you, we have this giant door. It's a big door, so it's like a gate, right? So these, um, it's a little bit off track, but, uh, you know, it's very hard. I don't want to mess with it. It's so beautiful, Eduardo. It. It's really nice. I had to just, again, just restained because mm -hmm. they had pads before in the past, and they scratch all the So doors. this is called pocket door. Pocket door, It's yeah. being used a lot in all the old, older homes, right? Victoria's, uh, they... Um, Safe space. Well, it's, it's like to divide... Um, Back in the day, uh, they used to have parlors, like the hallway and then a parlor. Right. So when you want a privacy, like after the dinner party with friends, like the woman stays in the room having tea with her friends, uh -huh. and the men used to smoke cigars in the other room. Right. And they used pocket doors to separate these rooms. Separate those rooms, yeah. So this big main room right here, I'm pretty sure in the past used to be another one between them. Oh. So it's, but probably it was smaller, and they used right. to be two of them. Uh, in here, they were able to do one big one because it's just one solid wall. Very nice pocket yeah. door. So here. But the, uh, we can talk about the stairway. Yeah, uh, as you go can. up later, or, or uh, not? <laughs> yeah, I can do now. But why not now? Okay. So go ahead. Yeah. So the stairway. Um, it had a really uh, red, bold red um, runner, and um, mm -hmm. it was kind of short. So uh, it took me like an entire day doing this thing. I don't I know how imagine. complicated it was. Because yeah. <laughs> it was too short, so I had to go to the store and buy a different one. So mm -hmm. I, I got black because the house outside, if you notice, has some black details. Mm -hmm. It makes it a little bit more serious. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I the, like it. The texture wallpaper on this room, too. Um, mm -hmm. It's really great. Oh, yeah, I like the paper here, that, the wallpaper. It's, it's a great trick, very affordable, an easy way to do to cover up the old cracks. You know, these uh -huh. old houses, they have the horse hair plaster, they call right. it. Right, uh huh. Which is not just horse hair, it's like all kind of animals uh -huh. hair mixed with old um, cement. Mm -hmm. and, and since I had to jack up this house by uh, an inch and a half, so. You had to do that, right? All the walls cracked. Like three times. We patch them, the next day they all cracked again because mm -hmm. the house is settling little it's, by little. Mm -hmm. So in, 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 stop, in order to stop keeping plaster on the walls, we, I decided to just go wallpaper because wallpaper. that's what they had be easy. I think it's easier, right? You don't easier need to paint. It's beautiful, has a nice texture. It is nice. Hides yeah, the cracks really nice. well. Mm -hmm. Because they're no structural cracks. They're just like cosmetic. So it's right. okay to cover them up. So here we have a closet. A nice so closet. under the stairs, mm -hmm. which is nice to have, right? A cold, in our yeah. cold closet. As people walk in, yeah. And uh, so coming this way, we have, how do you call this room? Like an the, office space, maybe the, the a thing, seating area? It can be a dining room, can be a guest room because you can close the pocket doors. Mm -hmm. um, it can be, I, I see myself here having an office. An it's office a, I think would be... I think because I feel like I can isolate for the rest of the house by closing the pocket doors. Oh yeah. Which these doors they were in the basement. Uh, they are not from this house. They are probably like from the nineties. Um, and so these those doors door were not here. Before. We're not here. Oh, okay. Um, so they were in the basement, but they came from a different house. Like oh. they were not original from this house. Mm -hmm. So I just um, I just lowered this molding a little bit to be able to, to fit, fit them. Yeah. And uh, I think it worked really well because it's see, great, you know. I love it. I just love. It. I love the colors too. Well, talking about the colors, um, I like to you recycle have some colors things. here, yeah. which is nice. <laughs> like you know, I like to reuse things a lot. Uh -huh. You know, you'll save a lot. Doing a flip, I always say my biggest secret: it's not how much you make, it's how much you expend. Mm -hmm. Because of course, um, yeah. and that's why I do a lot of things myself. Even though this house went over budget by four times. Because wow. I was, it was supposed to be just a quick fix and pass it on. Then I decided to do a, a better flip. And then I decided to do a little bit more high-end look. Uh, mm -hmm. Because I, I feel like since I'm like opening up, up uh, walls and changing major uh, things like the kitchen and adding bathrooms. And, and decided to add another bathroom. Mm -hmm. So that's when the cost time going up. Start especially yeah. a structural like lifting this house. So I, I decided to put a little bit more love into it. But you know, at the end of the day, it always pays off. It does. But, um, I think you said the right word, Eduardo, like putting love. Because like, if you see, if you come to a house, you go to a house and you see like an uh, like older house and uh, if you don't have that imagination, you know, like if you don't put your love into yeah. that, you don't see how beautiful that, that house yeah. could turn into, you know? It's it's a long, tiring process. It but is, if you don't love what you do, you give up halfway. You, you gotta like it to do, yeah, you yeah. gotta love 
it's should, a, you know, should good. work with construction or right. renovation type of thing. Because yep. if you don't have the heart for that, I don't think that would exactly. work, right? Like, I, I love design, you know, that's what I do, interior design, right. and I had to give it up a lot of jobs in the past few months, mm -hmm. sacrifice my time, Just like, with this. family and friends to be here every single day, mm -hmm. doing myself, because you get to a point that if you just pay everyone to do it, no. you're not going to make any money. Not the like, you got to get your hands dirty, like, I have all these cars, marks, <laughs> things, and... Uh, you know, it's it's it pays all, off, right? It pays off at the end. <laughs> um, I, I when I when I finished, I said, "Never again! I'm not doing it. like that." Said it was too many houses in too little time, like too short of time. Uh -huh. But once you, the last day when we start making a video, I start tearing up. I was like, "It's done. It's paying off. Look how wow. beautiful!" <laughs> and then yeah. the house was, you know, we just put it in the market two days ago, and I have multiple offers. Multiple offers, yeah. Oh my it's, god, it's been just one day, two days, multiple offers. House yeah. already sold, so no way, no one can see the property. Unfortunately, no. Anymore. Yeah, the deadline was so today, it's but gone. It's but too many. we can maybe, maybe we can buy other properties and I would do it. it yeah, maybe. I'm gonna take a couple of months off. No break vacation. All right. And, oh, before I forget, you mentioned about the color. So I was yeah. just saying that I don't, I don't waste anything. I get leftovers from different paints, five different paints, and I mix them and I create this green. <laughs> wow. See, so that's the green from the front door. Just using the imagination, right? Like trying to yeah. work, you know, in a way that yeah. you can make things work for you, right? You don't have to be like to pay big money. You don't right? have to. Just use what you have in a home. Innovation. Maybe sometimes it's something that you already have at home yeah. that you can just bring. After you know? painting the house, I had so much leftover paint from the other projects, and this one, I was like, I'm not gonna waste them. I felt like a sheet of green that I couldn't find because uh, I pictured this being an office, and the green is the best color for an office. Yeah, Symbolize yes. um, intelligence, money, uh -huh. prosperity. So I think. I think it came out really nice. And I like, think I'll, so I'll too. Give her the top. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so what do you have here? So here used to be a little closet, mm -hmm. and uh, and behind <laughs> the closet was a pantry for the kitchen. So it was another door here. So I closed this door. So it had, it had a little window between. I think this was like an old dining room because I had a little window between oh, the okay. closet and the pantry. Uh -huh. So. Back in the day, they used to pass food to the pantry to the And room. look what he did here, guys. <laughs> oh, uh-oh, uh -oh, lights on. <laughs> wow, this is beautiful. That's a great mixture between the old and new. Um, mm -hmm. So the waste coating. Um, I love the shower. The <laughs> so the shower, if you notice, um, that looks like a tree trunk, right? Like wood grain. Yeah. And the wallpaper, they're leaves and they're the same color. Right. And because I use like a, a shiny glass, tile for the back. Mm -hmm. I, I want to bounce that back on the wallpaper. That's why the wallpaper yeah. has a sparkle on it. Mm -hmm. Do you notice they has a glitter on them? Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> I did. <laughs> and and I see love the, yeah, the, the doors. The vanity is yeah. beautiful. Very classic. Um, I love marble, but uh, it's hard to use marble because it's, it's hard to maintain. Mm -hmm. So I use the marble look, the porcelain tiles. I which love works it. Really well. Oh, Very okay. nice. Before that. I forget, did you see this old mirror right here? I saw it. Yeah. This mirror, it's actually, um, it was in the house that my friend bought it six years ago. This was on top of the fireplace and I reused it for the bathroom. Oh my God. So it's it was not, yeah, yeah, so it was not for this bathroom. No. Actually, it was somewhere else. So it was in the fireplace. <laughs> it wow. It belonged to the fireplace. See? <laughs> You're going to have a lot of hit this way, so. Okay. So, are you here? Wow, this is very oh, nice. We're gonna go to the so other we are room. gonna go now to the other room. <laughs> so this is the living room, and um, so this is the living room, family room, right? And don't so kill we have me. a fireplace. But I painted the fireplace. <laughs> he painted the fireplace you and the uh, he color. added some marble, right? Yeah. So this is also porcelain tile. Porcelain tile. Uh, this come in a really big like uh, tile, and it was cut and it was done like the forty-five angle degree to wrap mm -hmm. the, all the bricks. As I mentioned, when I jacked up the house and all the cracks that are happening, this entire wall was cracked, like this whole column right here. Because right. it moved, the structure, right? Mm -hmm. All the bricks around the fireplace is starting to get loose. loose. Okay. And, and all the tiles on the bottom was like um, terracotta tiles, mm -hmm. like little ones. So, yeah, and they're very dingy anyway. Uh -huh. And since this house has already been, it's not much, like some original details, but a lot of things been done already. I didn't kept so original. I want to uh -huh. update a little. So I was like, you know what? Let's mix the old and new again. And it's beautiful. It <laughs> I love it. I, I really love it. 
And it has so many windows here too. Lots so of windows. So they are vinyl windows. Two windows there, two very windows nice here. windows here. It's a very, very bright home. If you come in here like to any time in the day, it's light everywhere, yes. especially in the evening. The amount of the sun sets their way. So you got light from these windows, those windows, and this entire room mm -hmm. in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And what I like about the older homes also is the size of the rooms, okay, and the height also. The height. Very, very nice. Very nice height. Right? Yeah. So coming this way, we have the dining area. Which this is the original one, also chandelier. Look at the chandelier, so, so cute. It was really bad shape, so I cleaned it glass by glass. So it was already nice. here. It was already here, but it was bad. It was, mm -hmm. This glass, they were like brown. Oh, yeah. So magic. I had to clean yeah. them. <laughs> you gave life to it. <laughs> yeah. Repurpose yes. one more time. So lots of windows on the other side, too. Nice bay windows so there. So very good size dining room. It's very good. And I love the colors. Open. This is a great color, right? So it is. Um, like a, kind of a green. Well, it's some green. To that's it, funny. Right? If you look at it, this room and that room, uh, I, I also upstairs. It's one color the entire house, but this is the new um, paint from Sham Williams. I only use them. Uh -huh. They have light reflectors. I think I mentioned I know, before. Yeah. Uh -huh. Depends on the lighting and the decoration of each room. It changes colors. Change colors, yeah. It's, it's really, nice. As you see, it looks a little bit more green in here, but um, whatever you put it like in there, because it has a red uh, carpet, it just looks a little more bluish in there. More bluish. I was yeah. going to say that. <laughs> and upstairs, looking from more... here, there, you know, yeah. I see kind of kind of bluish. It does you know? change. Yeah, it does change. And again, I'm selling the house with everything inside one more time. <laughs> yeah, right. And guys, he's selling everything that you see here, all the furniture. I all put it. Every, every house. <laughs> That's the way he works. Okay? Mm -hmm. So he knows how to do it. He's a good guy. Oh my God. He Reusing does. things. He again. knows how to do it. <laughs> and now coming to the kitchen. Wow. Beautiful. Which I is, love this kitchen. used to be just a little door right here. <laughs> yeah. So you had just a small door here? A small door right here. So I took the door out and I, I saved the, the moldings from the mm -hmm. old door. Yes. And also I saved the moldings from this door that we used to be right here where this cabinet is. Mm -hmm. um, and I was able to, so we opened up this wall. We had to put a beam across because this is a oh, structural yeah. wall. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't like it. When I look at all the opening, I was like, it looks like a new construction. It doesn't match the house. So I brought it down about six inches mm -hmm. up to the same height as that window. Over there. Away. And I don't want to bring it down as the as this height because it will be too low. Too low, yeah. And then the moldings were too short, so I, I was able to actually connect them, make a seam. But we, we know we use wood fillers and sand, so we don't see no, it. No, we don't see it. Mm -hmm. It looks original. Very, very nice. I love the you know that you know being white. Mm -hmm. You know, give you like view from the kitchen. See? If you're in the kitchen, you have your guests there. Yeah. You know, you can see everyone. Yeah. From here. And the big opening that we had on the floor, um, it was hard to match the, the hard floors. And these tiles, on, it was already here, like and I kept the floors. Oh, nice. So I was like, what can I do here? Um, I didn't want to try to match the wood. I don't want to try to match the tile. So I had the idea of matching the countertop. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I called the company, the countertop company. I was like, do you still have any left, like any remnant left from the countertop? And it's like, mm -hmm. we may have a little. I was like, how little? They're like, I straight. I was like, that's all I need. Wow, that's all you need, yeah. <laughs> so I perfect, yeah. They're right, really perfect there. So the kitchen looks really nice too. Yeah. It used to be very small. It used to be just where you are. It used to be the sink right there, starting mm -hmm. right there. A little corner and the stove used to be right here in this corner. So I did? No, no I did no that's it. That's all it was. Some cabinets here. See, guys. A little, a little corner. It used to be a door right here. You know where the bathroom is right now? It used to be a pantry there. A pantry there. And there was another door here for the office. So many doors, right? Doors, doors. And, and then so, you lose space for cabinets. Yeah, you do lose the space. And you know, also to take advantage of the height, like I mentioned, mm -hmm. I use double cabinetry. I always do that when right. I can. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and. I think it worked really well, even though you don't use it every day, but you know those dishes that you only use in holidays? Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> so I love the counters. I love the island. I love, yeah, the contrast, <laughs> the island being darker. Dark with the light. Is it black? Yeah, and light with the like dark. Chocolate? Yeah. This is like a chocolate, yeah. Yeah, chocolate. Yeah, also right? close, as a okay, and there. the white being here, which is really nice. I like the black splash. Thank you. It, it's still like the classic subway, but it's a little bit skinny. Yeah, it's skinny. So it's a little different shape. And right here, I use this embossed rose. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, I think this gives a nice touch to it. It is cute. Um, then uh, I originally I was gonna build a, a hood fan, a very rustic, like the same material oh, yeah, I used for I the back of the uh -huh. island. But then I already had these in the house and they matched this, uh, the appliances. So I decided to keep it because uh, I had to cut the costs at a point because it was going way over. Oh yeah. Um, and But then because I decided to keep it, I was like, oh, I don't have a cupboard to hold it anymore because if I order, it's gonna take five, six more weeks mm -hmm. and I couldn't wait. No. So I, I create this panel on the top. Mm -hmm. Why not just use it as a display for like seasons? I like to yeah. get more change my decoration. Christmas time, seasons. you can just hang, yep. Yeah, like, you know, fall, like, um, you can put like a leaves one, you mm -hmm. can put like a, a cone pine up. You can, you can do, like I even see like Easter eggs on it. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> it's cute, right? Uh-huh. You know, kids will sit down and like, yeah. oh, well, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's not very nice. I like the size of the windows here too, and you have an uh, enclosed porch here, yeah, right? Like a three season porch. You have a three season porch. He has a table there, which is really nice. Okay, so is that an extra space for you to maybe sit, have Absolutely. some coffee? Um, you just talk to some friends, yeah. have some time over there. We had like seven old windows in there. Mm -hmm. They were like rotten in bad shape. Um, instead of repairing them, you know, I just decided to remove them all and put three big ones. Oh, I think it was perfect. And yeah. Just a little lot. It needs a lot of moldings. I had to reprint mm -hmm. a lot of the old moldings in there. Um, mm -hmm. That's a lot of, a lot of cocking. <laughs> yeah, like oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of crumbs in the place. Mm -hmm. But it came out really nice. If it was a little bit earlier, you'll see how nice it is to see the sunset in there. That's oh, yeah, I know. Awesome yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so should we go now to the basement or should we go to the bedrooms upstairs? upstairs Maybe upstairs, upstairs, right? So let's go and see the bedroom bedrooms upstairs. They are very nice also. I've been there. So let's go. All right. So we have how many bedrooms? Uh, three bedrooms and a little nursery. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right now it's set up as a sewing room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we have beautiful and uh, new carpet up here. New carpet. It's a high-end carpet. It's very durable. It has a texture to it. I like the color. You know, it's very light. Because, uh, it's a dirt. <laughs> no. Yep. So let us start here. This is the master. This is the master bedroom. Okay. Good it's size nice. master bedroom. Makes the bedroom a Honestly, small. yeah. Two, two Good two size, size window. Mm-hmm. So all this furniture stays? Everything stays. Stays, okay. So we have a um, stand. The stand uh, uh, closet right you here. have a closet space right here. And we have a tool that is connected to the master that um, they had these before. Um, mm -hmm. From my friend body, like mm -hmm. the new owner about six years ago. They had these as a nursery. So they have a baby wallpaper. And yeah, you know, things. lots of family, when they have like newborn, they like to have the newborn close by. Like yeah. So this would be a perfect, you know, bedroom for a baby. Mm -hmm. And uh, when they grow up, the yeah, family yeah, take to another bedroom uh, and uh, maybe turn this into a walking closet. Well, I totally do a walking closet for myself. I would do that too. I, I said this, uh, this machine. I like this. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Now it's about 100 years old uh -huh. and um, I love antiques. So um, this is really nice. But it's a very bright room. like. It, I would love, you know, just to sit here, like, it, you, you watch people all day long walking dogs on the street. It's amazing how oh, many dogs are on the street. Yeah. <laughs> so it's Family a nice way to wave the, you know, to the neighbors, but you can totally put a lot of shelves in here. Uh -huh. So we so have here. a door here. So yeah. if you later, the kid, you know, the baby is grown up and you want to turn this into, you know, yeah. maybe a, oh, maybe yeah. a keep as a bedroom. You have a door here. Yeah. Um, well, oh, a dressing, maybe. you know, like a dressing room kind of like. A, uh -huh. If you close this door, you can put a lot, a lot of shelves in here. Oh yeah. And then you can put a little seat and everything. Like mm -hmm. you can actually get dressed inside your closet. Oh it's yeah. Pretty spacious. Sure, for sure, yeah. The curtains up there just needs to be installed. <laughs> the shades. Yeah, I see. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. So this is the master. Very, very nice. I like the colors here too. It's the, the same. Same, same color, it's right? Same color. Same color. It's, it's so fun. Like, if you look it's at the lamp. because they look different, right? It looks different, yeah. Like, if you look at the lamp, you can see that uh, the bottom co the color is different than the top color. Yeah. It's it, it's really interesting, like, especially if you see it early in the morning and late in the evening. Mm -hmm. That's when you see the colors. I have this color in my house. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it yes. changed. Yes. It changed. I remember. Yeah, I recommended that, but you yeah, remember. You did. You did. <laughs> so here we have another bedroom. Yeah. So this is the smallest bedroom. So this bedroom was what? What did you have here before? Carpet? Or did you had? It was hard floor. It's hard floor throughout the entire house. But oh, so you have hard floor under yeah, this carpet? Yeah. But they were they were in bad shape yeah, and um, bad the was all painted. Uh -huh. and, um, and I I I plan to re uh, refinish them. But the guys who do it, they were not available until like oh, the end of March. So I was like, long, maybe? it'll take too long. Okay. And I, I don't mind to have carpet on the bedrooms. I don't. Mm -hmm. I, especially yeah. if you have, it's a big house, so you're going to have mm -hmm. kids, probably, whoever buys and it. And yeah, he just to sleep. Exactly. Right? You, you stay, you, you spend most of the, the day, you know, downstairs. It's more comfortable, anyway. too, when you, wake, when you wake up in the morning and like, oh, yeah. why not? It's so, better stepping on carpet. <laughs> so we have a nice bathroom right here so, so we have a full bathroom this bathroom um it was done completely redone by my, my friend that was sold to me five years ago uh he oh. did this bathroom uh he kept the original tub which i loved he replaced the old tub and, and toilet uh the, the old toilet and the sink it's funny i don't see the, the you know the bathtub green i never yeah. see never i see seen. pink and this blue very but like not 1930s and 40s oh, like okay. i'll see like that uh, mid thirties. That's when mm -hmm. you were very, very popular. And then it is houses. huge, and I like the way you, you know, the color that she used on the walls, which is a you is have like a, a baby, yeah, it's mint. Like a, it's like a mint, yeah. Baby green, right or mint? A mint, yeah. Uh -huh. And and the, the reason that um, I want to be a little warmer, I use this old mirror that I found in the basement. I, I uh, instead of the mirror that was here. So you found so, the basement. Yeah, and she was in the basement, out. and you just brought upstairs. And if you notice, I put a little green picture frame there, so uh -huh. that way um, that it kind of matches the tub, of so course, it yeah. goes a little more cohesive. Uh -huh. I like the floors. So this is really cute. The very, very are, nice. The marble mm -hmm. uh, uh, honeycomb. Yeah. And you have nice. this other bed, that's the last this bedroom, right? This is another that's bedroom. Another yeah. bedroom here. Again, the same color, but looks a bit warmer. It doesn't look more than a little lavenderish, yeah. like pinkish. Uh -huh. It's, it does. It all depends on the light. Yeah. Again, lots of windows. Like high ceiling. This bedroom has the windows. best lighting. It does. It has five, six windows in this little bedroom. Mm -hmm. And they're all like you just press it. Now it goes up and, <laughs> and down. Goes up. Okay. Yeah. Very, very nice. You know, and the I, I think the rooms are you know very good size, you know, rooms. Great really for kids and really for grown kids, up, yeah. You know? Even teenager, you know. You absolutely yeah. Right? And the master bedroom is the one that needs to be yeah. bigger, and exactly. which it is, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. So, and uh, so this thermostat here, you were the, you you replaced also? Um, it was already... The previous owner did, my friend. That was oh, the, you already done that. So it's a digital when you can control the Wi-Fi. So even though it's an older house, they have uh, the new style, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? It does, this one, um, it can control AC, but this house doesn't have central AC. Is this the one that you control it. through the phone? Yes. Oh, okay, you can do that. Okay, great. Wow, this is beautiful. I love it. I really like it. So this is a... Wow, well, this is different, right? So this is a different wallpaper. This is a different color, too. Um, the wallpaper here? Yeah. Also and the painting here. This is a textual wallpaper made so you can paint it. So it's ah, made to be painted. To, made to be painted. Okay. So it's also great to hide the little cracks because this was also lifted mm -hmm. outside. Uh, I had to put two post beams to lift a little bit of the landing mm -hmm. in there. And uh, I didn't like how they look outside, so I created a little trays on the side. Uh -huh. and, okay, so I like that window too, you know? I restored them, I cleaned them up. Different colors? I restained them, yeah. Uh -huh. They have green, really yellow, nice. and, and blue. Mm -hmm. Also, if you look at it in the morning, the sun rises in this side, and mm -hmm. it's beautiful here because all the colors kind of fill the room. Right, right. So you have four bedrooms up here, yeah. and one full bathroom. And one full bathroom. You gotta have a bathroom, right? Upstairs. So let's go downstairs. Uh, we want to show you the basement. He did a wonderful job in the basement also. <laughs> oh my God, I'm very surprised, Eduardo. Yeah. The house is beautiful. <laughs> Thank it's you. beautiful. That's why it's already sold, right? Two, one day, two days. One day, I already sold. had several offers in one day. Yeah. So um, we, we uh, it's, it, now it's going to be the, the hard part. Decision. You know, decision, like, yeah. I have to make a decision by tomorrow. Yeah. And it's, easy. it's going no. It's not easy because you need to say no to a bunch of so, but, you know buyers. Yeah. And just one you have a good news. I know, I was saying I was saying today, I wish I had That's five houses worst, to accept I five know. offers. <laughs> That's the worst part of our job, you know, as a realtor to say no, your offer is not accepted. Yeah, especially when they are good offers, but unfortunately mm -hmm. like 
at the end of the day, you have to choose what you is choose best. One. Like we talked today about offers and we said, is, does not mean that the highest is the best one? No. It's a lot of contingencies out there, yeah. like uh, no contingencies to inspection. It's even on the market so, nowadays, you know, yeah. because the property is selling for so much higher than asking price. And uh, you can have problems on appraisal. appraisal. Um, so it's very, very tricky. Yeah. So whenever you decide, you just need to think and... Could you just do appraisal? Could you yeah. just do inspection? Mm -hmm. I know this house, I'm not going to have any problem with inspection. So I, two of my offers, they are not contingent to inspection at all. That's good. Because they know the house has been renovated. Mm -hmm. And one person actually brought an inspector, like uh, a Be friend, mm -hmm. before even putting they the offer. They know that too, yeah. Which is nice. <laughs> yeah, I never because at the same time, and they it, don't put on the offer. And I like that because they yeah. put the offer, no contingent inspection. Of course, yeah. So they, are, they already know what they are going to, you know? Yeah. Okay, so let's go down the basement. So this is a big laundry room. <laughs> wow, this is really big. Yeah, so this is a nice big laundry mm -hmm. area. And you can store your stuff here, you can put, you, you know, can fold your fold clothes. Your clothes right you can even here. put a nylon here, like, you know, to fold oh, yeah, clothes. Yeah, of course, yeah. So I done the floors and the ceilings, it was not done. Uh -huh. And... Uh, so these are new too? These are new, for the new bathroom. Ah, okay. For, yeah, the, for, for the, the new bathroom, bathroom that is right above us. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so you have the electrical right there. Yeah, it still needs the covers yeah. uh, because it's still waiting for the final inspection. Right, yeah. Just This have... is a walkout door, so you can walk to the driveway. So you have a driveway over mm -hmm. there. You know, like when you have a teenager kid that they are like, Getting to the point, it was like, okay, you need to be a little isolated. Yeah, I know, it's a yeah. great, it's a great <laughs> thing. It's for a them. Good they can live down for them, for sure. So the washing machine in the dish uh, stays, right? It stays. The machine okay, stays washing, stays. right? Stays. All right, and coming this way, look how cute this is. Wow, he turned it into a he. You you are able to turn it, <laughs> an ugly basement into That's a very dangerous. nice basement. Yeah, it, you can. You know, you can do a man cave. You can do a craft room, mm -hmm. a play room for kids. Yeah. Uh, it's, I, I think it's a great spot because they can, they can jump around, they can make as much noise as, as yep. they want, you know, uh -huh. here. Because these ceilings, they insulate really well. They do. Sound. Oh, nice. And, um, you know, the TV, a couch, and, uh, you know, it's a, Look a, a cat's a break. <laughs> so, uh, See, just it. this is the, oh my God. <laughs> Look at the foundation of this spot. That's the foundation. Stones. I like it and right. I didn't want to cover it up. And um, you just painted, right? Just painted, yeah. And the color is nice. This, this is a this is a grayish, you know, the mixture between the beige and the gray. So mm -hmm. I think it's a it's a nice. Right. It goes with everything. I like this here too. This is cute. Just a piece of wood, like a two by six. Um, it just was some not rope. here, right? Before it was not here. I just left over from the materials. I just stayed. You just it. brought here. I put a rope on it, and these hooks was already here, just hanging in there. And <laughs> Easy thing to do, right? And Isn't sometimes don't think about it. You just Isn't cheap. To... This Super cheap. Piece of wood this was that... actually free. This was gonna go to the dumpster, so it's like leftover material, like the old cabinets from the old kitchen. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, some fresh coat of paint on them, and I use them to expand the laundry or storage for the kids. Wow, well, nice to have the sink over there too, right? Because the yeah. laundry is right, the the washing yeah. machine is right there. I couldn't put the sink on the other side because there was not enough space. Uh -huh. Was the dryer? Uh, but that then... space there is perfect. I think it's pretty good. I think it's perfect. You can put all the. The soaps and the, the cleaning products down here. What about those those cabinets here? So these are the old cabinets. That you brought from somewhere. From the upstairs. From upstairs. The oh, old from kitchen. upstairs. Oh, the old kitchen. Yeah. Also, this is oh. a piece of wood that was. So instead extra. of throwing away, you just put in here. I refurbished them. Like I refurbished everything. <laughs> I know. Like my guys were like um, the 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 workers were throwing stuff in the dumpster, and I saw this board, I was like, hey, don't throw it away, okay. give it to me. So I just <laughs> took it and I made a countertop for it. <laughs> That's why people, you know constructor you know they do right they instead yeah. of throwing things away they just keep it and uh it's they may they may be able to use it in any, don't throw any other project a, right i don't like to throw anything away until the project's over and really? i don't even know how many times i had to go dumpster diving to get a piece of board they're like oh i have a, i need a little piece of trim left can you go to home depot uh -huh. it's like no i'm sure you guys throw it away in the dumpster so i had to go to the dumpster to just get like a little piece of molding uh -huh. instead of buying like a Entire long oh, piece, of course, yeah. and wasted like an yeah, hour to go they, in there. And spending money, right? Money and time. What do you have over there? So Anything? coming this way, uh, as you see, continues the floor in there. Yeah. Uh, I, I, because you know we're dealing with the water here, so I wanted the, the vinyl. Uh, right. This is the, the luxury floor. vinyl planks, mm -hmm. uh, and that to be more comfortable on a carpet. Right. So right here we have a full bathroom. 
Oh, you have a full bathroom here. Yeah. Okay. So let's the key, go look at. Great to isolate your black sheep of the oh, family down really here. Oh, this is really cute. Uh huh. <laughs> We have a full bathroom down here. Full bathroom, oh yeah. Oh my goodness! I thought it was a half. And uh, I have a full shower, and uh, it's it's a little bit higher because it's a bump. Mhm. Mm yeah. That's normal. And then this door, I don't want to show, but it's like the storage and the machines. So you have the furnace, right? The furnace. The furnace and like a storage. Yeah. Just a storage. And you know. Did you remember that I said that I'm, I've removed a door from the offices to the, to the kitchen? Uh huh. Yeah. This is the door. <laughs> oh, this is the door. This is the door. So, oh my god. Like I said, so I reuse you everything. So always use, yeah. You bring something from one place to other place. Yeah. Which is nice. You know, it's recycling, you know, doing a little part for the planet. And also, oh. um, it, it's nice. It's like when you reuse something because it gives you like, the, like, well, I, you know, at least I, I didn't throw it away. You know, like, I, it, it's nice to just do something uh -huh. with something. Of course, right? yeah. I, I just think wow. that if everybody does that a little bit, when um, I had a second 30-yard uh, dumpster going out of here, I look at it, I was like, wow, I hate when I do that. Like, this is going to a landfill. Like, I'm like every house is like two, three, four dumpsters out of trash. I know, like, I, I hate doing that to our planet. Uh -huh. So whatever I can use it from there, um, especially like I don't throw away right. oil, or paint or anything like mm -hmm. that. It goes separately to a different right. place. Right. Um, but I just keep thinking like, wow, it's like an entire house inside that thing. Like, I know. Use yeah. as much as you can. Why not? Of course. Right? Why not, right? Why not? <laughs> so let's go back to the kitchen. I love this basement. This basement is really nice. Mm -hmm. I think um, into an ugly basement, you turn into a really nice one. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't imagine how ugly it was before. <laughs> oh, it was. Oh my gosh. A lot and, of dog uh, here. <laughs> and this kitchen is really, really cute. So we're going to stop right here in the kitchen. And uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video because, oh my gosh, I love to see, I loved what we, I saw here today. You know, I think it's a, it's a good way to learn, right? It's a good way to learn, yeah. yeah. And uh, you doing, you self, yourself doing, I think you learn yeah. every time you do a... a every time you, yes. A yes sometimes thing, you right? have to do once, twice, you know, like three times, four times the same thing. You always learn. You're always learning. Like, uh, like the except, example, the, I never done a runner for the for these stairs. I had to do it four times to get it right. Wow. So uh, I took my entire day. I was like, I can't believe I'm still here. But it's it, it always pays off. Uh, and I if you want to learn, you got to do it, right? Do it. Because if you don't do it, if you keep paying for people to do it for you, it's going to get more expensive. Yes. And uh, you're never, never going to learn. The thing, right. Exactly. You need to be handy. If you want to be in this business, if you want to flip houses, you got to get your hands dirty. Yeah, it's one thing that I always tell Eduardo to my clients that if you buy a house that needs to be completely redone, like this one, you got to understand a little bit, at least yeah. a little bit about, little bit. you know, how the to... Process. Yeah, the process. Because it can be really stressful. Yeah. Uh, Financially. You can get <laughs> into a big problem if, yeah. you, if you don't know what you buy, right? Mm -hmm. And so you can have Absolutely. a really, yeah, really uh, bad, bad experience. I had like, uh, you always think like, oh, I, I done it once. Um, oh, I know already. Oh. I done it twice. Oh, I know even better. <laughs> so like you said, like this was like my seventh, six or seven flip in the mm -hmm. last couple of years. And um, I still learned so much. This last one was, the, this was definitely the hardest. Was? I went through mm -hmm. every little thing that you can think, like anything, but when you look at a house, before you buy it, you say, I may have to change this, put in a paper already, I'm going to have to change it. Don't assume that you're not going to have to. If you may have to do it, just assume that you have to so do it. So tell me, um, by your experience on this property, what was the most challenging thing about this property? Uh, I think right this time was the weather. The Be weather. The weather was um, yeah, because flipping a house in the winter. No, no, I had many, many delays. I couldn't do anything outside because of the cold. Um, and uh, it was just freezing, even to do that room over there, replacing the windows, replacing mm -hmm. the door, painting outside, it was very challenging. Yeah, outside so is... it's, it's really, really tough, especially like it's very slippery, a lot of ice, right, right, right. Uh, paint doesn't dry. You can't dry. do much outside, right? You can't do much like, outside. really cold months, yeah. uh, it's, it's very hard. Very you hard. can't do any paint because the paint is not going to... It doesn't yeah, dry, it doesn't it's just, dry. it peels off, so... it's, it's, it's really tough. I think the, the challenge part here was um, also... Well, the, the 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 weather was a big part of it, but finding people, nobody was available this time. No professionals were right now available. 
<laughs> it's it's a it's a big lack in labor and materials. Like Very everything true. got delayed. Like I can't believe how long it took to, for the windows to arrive. I ordered like pre-made windows that you can just go in the store and pick them up. They didn't yeah. have it, so I, I ordered them and it still took them like a month and a half to arrive. Not custom windows. Custom windows I just ordered, I just got mine after five months. <laughs> oh. It's been that long. But everything, it's just been like, you have to keep driving up and down different stores, try to find material, and mm -hmm. you can't find people to work. And when you do, most of them are amateurs. So yeah, I had I to know. redo a lot of the work that I paid to do it. Oh my house. God. Uh -huh. So it was tough. Because yeah, I, I didn't plan to put my hands on on this one. Yeah, I'm because so the good ones that know, the good professionals, they are busy, right? They are very busy. They are very, very busy. And on this, in this business, like construction, oh my God. It's then, very, it's very hard to, to bring someone like a professional yeah. to do something your, at your house, like a plumber, electrical. You can't get them. It's and, very, very hard. And when you do, someone. they charge a lot because they, they know how much you need them. Yeah. So the, the prices are like skyrocketing uh -huh. right now. They're it's, taking advantage mm -hmm. of the, the situation, you know. Um, it's been tough. So I'm learning like electrical, I'm learning plumbing. I don't want to. I, I want to stick with the design. Like, uh, like I had sacrificed all my clients. Like I have a list of clients waiting for me um, in different states. I have jobs in different states. I have, um, and I was in a deadline. Like I'm, tra I'm going away for uh, for a month in the next couple of days. So right. that's why the, the the deadline for the offers was was today, today because yeah. uh, I couldn't wait much. I have no. to go. But uh, it's just been so many delays after delays and waiting on people. So mm -hmm. if you don't know how to do it, you're gonna get stuck. So tell me one thing that you learned. Well, from this house or any other property, okay, uh -huh. that you bought. Uh, what is the one thing that she, you you can tell people, you know, everyone that's watching us, yeah. that they need to pay attention at, you know, when buying a house for like to flip? Yeah. What's the most important factor yeah. that you need to pay attention on? I'll say do your research on the market, like market analysis. I think you I can think help that, with that. Like, yeah, uh, a good real to see help. how much you pay for the house, how much square footage you're selling for. What is the max? Just think how much the max is square footage you can sell the house for. Because mm -hmm. if you leave a house livable like these, that somebody can just move in and bring the suitcase and it's ready to move, they're willing to pay anything, top dollar for they it. They are. Like every are. house that I sell, I, I noticed that it's been the highest square footage sold in each city that I sold. My oh, last really? house is, I, I noticed that I've been beat, like, <laughs> didn't have records. I was like, wow, since my first flip, uh -huh. like the first flip that I done in Marlboro, it was a tiny little house and it was sold for the highest square footage ever sold here mm -hmm. in that time. Um, and, uh, but it, it's because I, like, again, like, I need to put a lot into it mm -hmm. uh, and just exceed anyone's expectations. Just don't, don't do it something just to get it done. Like, mm -hmm. oh, should I expect a little bit more and put a better quality product? Yes. People are willing to pay more. And I, one thing that I always tell my clients, Eduardo, is that if you're doing a flip and you think you're going to spend 150 okay, to renovate the property, you always need to be prepared for to pay to, to spend more than that. Always, always. Because if you if you just prepare for for what you see, yeah. I think you're going to be in trouble. Yeah. Because as you start breaking the walls. Yeah. You're gonna see that more work will need to be done. Yeah, it's doable, yeah, right? I done I done flips that I spend thirty something thousand dollars mm -hmm. and I remember the entire house. Again, doing myself, just mostly materials. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, plumber, electrician usually I pay them, mm -hmm. and sometimes with something is really big, I pay people to help me out. Um, I don't want to do the label work anymore. So uh, in this house, I pay a lot of people to do stuff. Unfortunately, it didn't come out the way that I want. I had to redo it myself yeah. to not pay twice. Uh, so I had a lot of bumps in the road here, but um, it's still going to work at the end because the final product came out really nice. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't expect even to get this far with this house, like doing this amount of work. Mm -hmm. when, I, when, I, like when you're looking for a house, um, going back to the question, like uh, if, you, if you can bring the inspector before you put the offer, we mentioned yes. it before. Yeah. That's a nice thing because you, you to don't do. know. Like, or even if you have a friend that's a contractor that he knows he has experience enough to let you know that the house mm -hmm. is solid. Yeah. Uh, if the house is it's vacant, it's even better because sometimes you can open things up and a little bit right. and check a little uh -huh. bit deeper, right? Like it's good bones, you see no sagging. Like this one it was sagging. I knew it had structural problems. Yeah. 
But uh, you know, I was up for the challenge. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to do it again. I don't know before. I don't want to do it again. Work, yeah. It's a long work because it delays everything. Mm -hmm. But if it's a good solid house that has potential, I saw the potential on this one, mm -hmm. and I hate to go to waste. I think especially because it was a friend of mine who used to live here, mm -hmm. and I used to always see oh, the potential on the house okay, right. when he was moving away and mm -hmm. said he was going to sell. It, I was like, I'll take it. And it was a little impulsive at the moment. Mm -hmm. Not very smart. Okay. I shouldn't done it. I should uh -huh. do my market analysis first, uh -huh. which I always do. Uh -huh. I knew the marketing model was hot. It, it is. was, uh, but I just, uh, I just didn't want to get such a big project at this point mm -hmm. since my career has been so it's busy. You're busy already. Yeah. Uh, I'm already busy. Mm -hmm. So I, that's why for the next at least six months I'm not doing another flip mm -hmm. because I have a lot of projects lined up. Mm -hmm. But uh, bring somebody with experience and just ask them. Dig it in the house, pay them a dinner, like oh, buy some oh, drinks, yeah. come over with me, I'm going to put them off in the house. Check the <laughs> yeah. house. Uh -huh. If it has uh, you know, potential, See yes. if there's, there's good bonds, if they have good bonds, if yeah. it has good bonds, right, yeah. first. Yeah. And uh, if it is something that you are willing to, you know, go into, right? Yeah. Because sometimes it can be so, like, so much work to do that sometimes it's not going to be worth. Exactly. You know, money wisely, exactly. right? So you always need to do a max analysis before you buy that property to see, uh, and, and also do a max analysis of of this same property after completed, like yeah, the work is being completed, mm -hmm. to see if uh, how much you know whatever you're gonna spend is gonna be worth or not. Yeah, you know, and how much you're gonna end it up, you yeah. know, with that property. The process so, also like uh, like you know the cost can be a little outrageous, so. Shop around. Just don't go like, oh, Home Depot Lowe's and just shop around. No. Do you know how many things I buy, like from the display that is 50% off? I shop a lot. Really? Like tiles. I have so many tiles at home because mm -hmm. sometimes they have closeouts and all the tiles, they're like, oh, from, I, I no joking, I bought $15 a square feet tiles for like cents, just like few cents a square feet. Because it was a closeout. I just want to get rid of it. Yeah. Buy it. If you, if you have intention to flip, mm -hmm. buy it. Find a little room. Just keep house, it, yeah. And, and one day you may use, right? Yeah, they use it. Like yeah. life pictures, I have literally like 20 life pictures hanging in my basement when mm -hmm. I have a, uh, you know, a project for it, I use it because I buy them when they're on sale. So anything that you can save in the process, it right. adds up a lot because you're talking about buying hundreds of items, mm -hmm. if not thousands, when you're mm -hmm. buying a house. Mm -hmm. So any little save in each one oh, yeah. is going to, especially big things like appliances, shop around. If you go to Best Buy, if you get for appliances, mm -hmm. they give you ten percent off and everything. Right. So your micro is gonna be free. Things like mm -hmm. that. It's like four hundred dollars savings. Mm -hmm. So oh yeah. Um, stone. Go to different places. Get remnants. Like right. I did. So you can get fifty percent off on the remnant. Mm -hmm. Not installation, but you can get in the remnant. Right. It's a big savings because we're talking it about is, what, five thousand dollars item that can go down to three thousand. Yeah, so see? it's 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 a yeah, lot. Yeah, it's good very things. very smart to do, right? And tomorrow I'll be posting a video. I hope that it's done oh, yeah, tomorrow yeah. about, about this house, the process, um, and a casa redesign on YouTube. You're gonna yeah. see my channel there. I have videos about the. the we will have his website. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um. Casa on redesign this, one on Instagram. Yeah, we'll be there, so you can check it out. Check you can video. start following him too, because he has very good taste. <laughs> uh, I think he can help you, right? Right. You can I, give them some advice, I, I can right? definitely do our devices. Um, I've been doing a lot of online um, consultations now for clients, okay. a lot, like mm -hmm. from different states. Um, like uh, I'm putting, I can put the together the design and send it over. Um, even shop online for my client. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, thank God with technology these days with the video call. Right. I've been helping a lot of my clients uh, through mm -hmm. videos because I was stuck here. <laughs> right. Uh, but I can always do consultations via video. Uh, and uh, you you get to learn a little bit about the process. Like I'm gonna show how this house before, which was you have a way to very, show right through the internet, yeah. like computer. You can it's, just show them the like the, the now and the later. House. Yeah, when I do the video, like um, uh, I do talking over, so mm -hmm. um, so I show um, clips of the, the previous um, these steps by step by step, like the. I have uh, short videos and I have uh, photos from the process. Right. So I will show you guys exactly how it was and uh, what was done to the house. So I have hundreds of photos so actually to put it together still by tomorrow. Oh, nice. I hope if it's I not done by tomorrow, but it will be, it'll be <laughs> in the next couple of days. Uh -huh. So you guys can learn not just this house, but the one before. I have tons of projects that I need to put it out. I just haven't I had know, time I know you have. I know you have. You just need to have. 
to find more time, right? Find more time. To come to my yeah. lives because I brought, uh, he came to my life before. Yeah. It was okay. one that was very good, you know, life that we done together. But it's so hard to get him, to bring him <laughs> to my life. And so to, yesterday he called me, yeah. Mas, I have a house that I want to show. I said, okay, so let us do it. So today we are here and showing this to you. And I hope you guys like it, right? I hope you guys like and, it. And, uh, you know, keep on following us. Every week we try to, you know, bring like news about real estate, how to buy, how to sell. And also, you know, this type of learning also, you know, some, flipping or... Some DIY projects, you know, um, mm -hmm. inspirations. <laughs> yeah, even mortgage I talk about. So, right. <laughs> last time, I uh, last life, I was I did on a new construction. Mm -hmm. Okay, not a flip, but a new construction was very, very nice also. And today we are here talking about mm -hmm. flip, which is really nice. Oh, and I want to do others. And with we you. have the, um, the one that I'm designing, Nelly. Mm -hmm. Like it's a big, big new beautiful construction, home, beautiful Nelly. home. So hopefully uh, we'll getting, be there too. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, so, probably like by uh, the next couple of weeks. Uh, okay. I, won't, I won't be here, but as soon as I get back, I hope I don't think it's gonna be in, in a uh, closed year. They mm -hmm. will be in the market in a couple of weeks. But okay. I just um, hope to show the house before we uh, in Natick, close beautiful Natick. home, right? Beautiful. Totally custom, custom. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I got the house was already. Uh, the bones were already there, but I was able to redesign the whole floor plan. So it's pretty interesting. Oh, wow, I can imagine yeah. how beautiful it is. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, our live today. And I want to thank you, Eduardo. Oh, thank, thank you so you. much, you know, for <laughs> the opportunity. That was, you know, brilliant. Thank Very you. nice to be here with you. And I love your home. Congratulations thank to you. you so and congratulations for the offers too. Thank you. Way okay. over. <laughs> and we're very happy for you. Thank you. Okay. And I want to thank you all, you know, for watching. And uh, every week we are here. So just keep, you know, following me on my Instagram, Marcia Pesaya. Also on my YouTube channel um, and my uh, Facebook uh, page, Mar uh, Realtor Marcia Pesaya. Okay, just just go there, click, you know, and uh, keep watching and uh, keep following me, so you can view beautiful properties like this one and uh, maybe learn more about you know flipping, learn about mortgage and how to buy your house, how to sell your house. So and that's it. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. you, Eduardo. Thank you so much, and thank you for being here with us, all right? Have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye.